Thank you, Natalie. And as she mentioned, flooding continues to be a major problem for people across the low country, and it's on the agenda of state and local government agencies. Today, the countywide flood prevention task force took a walk around a couple of neighborhoods. News 2's Taylor Murray joined them from that walk and has more. Senator Marlon Kimson joined the Intergovernmental Flood Prevention Task Force Committee today on a visit to neighborhoods in West Ashley and North Charleston that have been affected by flooding. On the walk around the neighborhood, Senator Kimson and the Flood Prevention Task Force met with homeowners to listen to their concerns about future flooding. Many of them have already experienced costly flood damage from the past few years. The South Carolina Department of Transportation was also present to be part of the conversation. Together, they discussed solutions to the cause of flooding in these neighborhoods, like retention ponds that are over 40 years old and drains that need to be cleaned more frequently. Senator Marlon Kimson of District 42 believes that we need to continue to have a plan to deal with flooding. We have to be proactive. We know another storm is coming. And so if we don't have a plan to deal with it, then we're reacting. And we want to act as proactively as we can, particularly not only to save lives, but to save people's real and personal property. There will be a meeting of the countywide Intergovernmental Flood Prevention Task Force Committee at the North Charleston City Council Chambers this Monday, the 28th. If you feel like your neighborhood needs some maintenance to assist with flooding, then you're welcome to attend this meeting. In West Ashley, Taylor Murray, count on two.